Yeah, okay, it's good. When you try and stretch out as far as you possibly can. So it's good, but you need to go much, much further. All right. So if you do that, do five lengths for me. Okay, and then come back. Hey, hey. <whistles> Don't run. Don't run. Yeah, we're in, the, uh, we're in the middle of some swimming lessons at the minute. It's a bit of a mix. We've got some people having some swimming lessons and then it's public bathing as well. Um, so, a bit chaos at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great place. Um, so, the baths here were built originally in 1897. Uh, there was a man called uh, Alderman Joseph Griggs. He was, a, um, he was an alderman of the town and he was also the first mayor of Loughborough as well and um, he decided he was going to uh, build this amenity um, for, for the townsfolk um, for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 1897. So um, that's what they did. Uh, so it was originally known as the Queen's Memorial Baths. Um, and you know, you get into it off Granby Street, same old, same old, and uh, in you come, get changed, and, uh, and away you go. Um, and, uh, but it wasn't just the swimming pool, there were baths as well. So. Um, you had, you know, like a bath you get in your house, um, you could have a bath here as well, which for a lot of people in Loughborough at that time, you know, particularly in the late 1890s, 1900s, um, most people didn't have indoor plumbing, uh, you know, and your toilet was at the bottom of the garden. Um, so uh, to come here and actually, you know, get a proper bath, um, you know, was, was good. You know, a lot of people who worked at the old messenger factory uh, down Cumberland Road uh, and, uh, you know, like at Bell, uh, foundry as well um, you know probably didn't have it so come here and um, if you wanted to get in uh, 12 admissions it'd cost you nine pence so less than a penny a time to get clean you know be warm as well so you know, really really useful for the people um, but at that time the problem with with the pool was that it used to get really dirty so every night there were two blokes and they'd come and they'd empty the entire swimming pool and then refill it uh, with clean water um, so if you wanted to bathe in the morning it would cost you more because the water was cleaner so I think it, was, it was, used to be two pennies in the morning to come and bathe um, so uh, yeah in the 30s 1934 I think they put in a filtration system um, and chlorinated it um, you know to make it cleaner so they didn't have to empty the, the, the thing every night but um, you know that's uh, that's 40 years ago now it's starting to show its age a bit and um, occasionally we've had to close the pool because the water gets um, uh, muddy let's say uh, which isn't good um, so yeah it's, it's sometimes difficult to keep it clean but you know the town's hoping to get a new swimming bath soon but this one's done really well you know it's over 75 years old and um, been really really important for the town uh, you know, and it's uh, it's great, you know, when the water is clean, uh, to get in and dive in and away, although not diving in, down at the chalet. <whistles> Oi, don't, if you want to jump in, go down the deep end. Don't do it at the shallow end, right? And walk. So, uh, yeah, uh, but it'll be back to swimming. Look, you've finished. Okay, all right. If you do another two lengths, all right, let me see that really extend out and we'll come down and move on to something else. All right, got to go.